we learned that every observable can be represented by a Hermitian operator. In this video, we will derive expressions for the position and momentum operator in terms of the Dirac bracket notation. We will introduce the translation operator, and how to represent momentum operator in position basis or vice versa. Let's start with the probability of finding a particle, which is given by its probability function given by the modulus square of the wave functions. The mean of the particle position, or the expectation value of its position, is given by the product of the probability function with the position x, integrated over x. By extension, we can also similarly define the expectation of x to the power of n. Hence, by construct, all polynomial functions of x can also be similarly defined. Now, let's recall from one of the quantum postulates that the expectation value of an operator is given by the expression in the green highlighted box, where n ket is the wave function of the system, and o is the operator of the observable. Hence, to get an expression for the position operator, we first rewrite the expectation value of x in terms of its bracket notations. After some rearranging, we can express it in the form as given in the green box, allowing us to identify the position operator x as highlighted in blue. It is easy to show that the position operator x, as defined here, is Hermitian. By extension, we can similarly write down an expression for the operator, which is a polynomial functions of position operator x as shown in the red box. So what happens when the position operator x acts on x prime position basis ket? Recall that this x prime ket can be viewed as highly localized at x prime and zero elsewhere. With the expression of the position operator x, we derived, we can act it on the x prime ket. The x bra and x prime ket will collapse to give a Dirac delta function. This allows us to arrive at the number x prime multiply with the x prime ket. Effectively, the operator x acting on x prime ket becomes the number x prime acting on x prime ket. The position operator is being replaced by a number which denotes the position of the position basis ket. We say that the x prime ket diagonalize the operator x with x prime being its eigenvalue. A similar derivation can be performed to derive an analogous expression for the momentum operator, the function of momentum, and also its diagonalization relation. Next, we introduce the translation operator, denoted as T alpha, where alpha denotes the amount it translates in position. Its action on the position basis ket is illustrated as follows, which maps x ket, which is localized at x, to x plus alpha ket, which is localized at x plus alpha. We can identify several properties that this translation operator has to respect. First, when alpha is zero, the translation operator will leave the ket unchanged. So it should simply just be the identity. Second, the translation operator has to be unitary. Because it has to preserve the norm of the ket. And we will show later that such requirement will constrain the operator to be unitary. Hence, we can write t as an exponential function. The exponent should contains alpha, and since alpha has the unit of position, and the exponent as a whole has to be dimensionless, we need to multiply it with the wave vector k, which has the unit of inverse length. The negative sign will become obvious in an example later. Third, the translation operator has to be commutative, as it should not matter if we translate by beta first, followed by alpha, or vice versa. This property allows us to derive an expression for the adjoint of t to be equal to the inverse of t, which we will use later. Let's first address why t must be an unitary operator. We write here again the action of t on the x ket. The norm of x plus alpha ket can then written as follows. It then follows that if we want the norm of x ket to be the same as the norm of x plus alpha ket, the product of t adjoint with t must equals the identity. This is the definition for unitary operator. Using the properties of the translation matrix we showed earlier, that T is a unitary operator is shown, and that the inverse of T equals the adjoint of T. This allows to arrive at the results that the wave vector K, which is an operator, is Hermitian. The wave vector is related to the momentum via Planck constant multiplied by the wave vector. In quantum mechanics, it is often very useful to be able to express the momentum operator in the position representation. 
In other words, we ask what happens when the momentum operator acts on the position basis. Starting again with the definition of the translation operator, acting on the x ket, and yielding the x plus epsilon ket. Let's take the limit where epsilon is infinitesimally small. We tailor expand the exponential function into 1 minus ik epsilon as shown in line 1. Rearranging the terms allow us to obtain an expression for the wave vector operator, which in the limit where epsilon is small, allows us to express it in terms of the differential in x. Then, it is straightforward to arrive at the action of the momentum operator on the x bra and ket as indicated in the red box. Let's apply what we just learned to a very simple example. That of a plane wave. For example, a free electron would have wave function of the plane wave form. We expect that a plane wave have well-defined wave vector. Thus momentum. But let's check. Acting the momentum operator on this state. We first insert a completeness relation using the position basis as shown in step 1. Then, we replace the momentum operator with its x-differential form by acting on the bra in step 2. The differential of the plane wave would then yields the factor Planck constant multiplies by wave vector as shown in step 3. Thus, this confirms that the plane wave state has a well-defined momentum, or that the stated wave function is an eigenstate of the momentum operator, with eigenvalue being its momentum. In quantum mechanics, we can just say the momentum is a good quantum number in this case. Lastly, similar analogous math can also be made for the position operator, and we will just summarize it here for you to try it on your own. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes. Join our Free Science Academy Discord channel to discuss science and technology. High school students are welcome to join and post your questions, we will answer them during our free time.